Hi there. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to create a Windows 11 bootable drive. In my case, a bootable thumb drive. What you need to first do, search for Media Creation Tool Windows 11. It's identical for Windows 10 if you want to do that, but we want Windows 11. So download Windows 11. And in here, Installation Assistant, but we want Create Windows 11 Installation Media. This is valid if you want to upgrade the computer that you are already on. But I want to uh, install Windows 11 on a different computer, so we will click Download now. Installation Media. And now we simply run it, yes. And we wait for it to finish what it's doing and be back in a second. And it finished. We click Accept. It's getting a few things ready. Again, we wait. And in here, we can uncheck this and basically install whatever language we want. And for addition, yeah, Windows 11, it includes all of them. For Windows 10, I think you have a few options, but 11 includes everything. So yeah, even this for us, it's okay, but I will still uncheck it. Next, your USB drive, which I already plugged in, needs to be at least 8 gigabytes in size. And you can also create um, from an ISO file, for example, if you want, uh, a DVD. I think it will actually use two DVDs. I don't think it has enough room on a single DVD, but I'm not going to do that. USB is much easier these days. Uh, and it will absolutely destroy all the data on your USB. So make sure you are using a drive that uh, you don't have any useful data on it. Let's click next. I have a huge <laughs> drive inserted in here. It's a USB 3 drive, so quite fast in a USB 3 port, quite fast again should be going really quickly. So at this point, you simply select it, make sure you select the correct one in case you have more than one, because again, your data will be lost. Click next, and uh, it's starting to do its thing. It will download it and then start to create your drive. In some uh, weird cases, you might need to disable uh, your uh, Antivi uh, antivirus, um, your live scanning for a moment while this is installing. In the past, I had uh, issues with uh, Avira, for example, that uh, it was somehow blocking a part of the creation of the bootable drive, but lately I haven't seen such an issue, so I will not disable uh, any live scanning. So, be back to you when this is actually finished. Downloading finished, now it's creating uh, the drive itself, basically writing data to the drive and making it bootable. It's quite a fast process if your drive and USB port are fast. And as you can see, it finished 10 seconds after I said that. So yeah, uh, that's how you create this drive. At this point, the USB that I have plugged into my computer, this thingy right here, it's bootable and it can... Uh, uh, start Windows 11, install from it. So, yeah, I will also link a video in the description where I use exactly this drive that I have created now today to install Windows 11 on an HP laptop. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Hope this video helps you, in which case, please give it a like, check out my other videos, and as always, see you in the next one. Bye. And yes, obviously, press finish. And we are done. Bye again.